The tympanic membrane, known as the eardrum, is a thin cone-shaped membrane located at the end of the ear canal that separates the outer ear from the middle ear. It plays a crucial role in hearing by transmitting sound vibration to the ossicles or tiny bones in the middle ear. Hair cells in the inner ear finally convert this vibration to electrical signals and carry them to the brain. Various diseases and conditions can affect the tympanic membrane, leading to hearing loss, pain, vertigo, and other complications. One of the common disorders is tympanic membrane perforation that can be caused by trauma, like when a sharp object is inserted in the ear, loud explosion, or a slap to the ear. Sometimes infections and dysfunction of the eustachian tube can cause perforation as well. Barotrauma or changing in pressure like during flying or scuba diving is another cause of perforation. Most of these reasons heal on their own with no intervention. In the setting of infection, antibiotics should be used and if the perforation doesn't heal on its own, surgical repair is needed. Otitis media or infection of the middle ear is another disorder of eardrum. This happens cause of bacterial or viral infections, eustachian tube dysfunction, and in some cases due to allergies and upper respiratory infections. Ear pain, fever, decreased hearing, and fluid buildup are common symptoms of this disorder. There are several types of otitis media, acute, chronic, and suppurative. In the suppurative form, you can see pus and mucus in the eardrum. Antibiotic and anti-inflammatory medications are used to reduce pain and infection, and sometimes tympanostomy or placing ear tube is performed for recurring infections. Tympanosclerosis is another disease and the term used for thickening of eardrum in result of repeated infections and trauma. This can cause conductive hearing loss and also we can see white and chalky patches on the tympanic membrane while examining the ear by otoscope. No treatment is needed if the hearing sensation is intact, but if there is any sign of hearing loss, tympanoplasty can be performed. Cholesteatoma is an abnormal skin tag behind the eardrum that often happens due to repeated infections or eustachian tube dysfunction. Hearing loss and persistent ear drainage are common symptoms and if the inner ear is affected, the patient might experience dizziness or vertigo. Sometimes the doctor may perform CT scan to assess the extent of the growth. The choice of treatment is surgical removal of those tags to prevent further hearing loss and even facial nerve damage. There are other less common diseases like bullous myringitis, barotrauma, and retarded tympanic membrane. The doctor will perform different diagnostic methods like audiometry, otoscopy, tympanometry, CT scan and MRI based on a patient condition to make the exact diagnosis and design a best therapeutic plan. If you want to prevent your eardrum from unexpected diseases, it's better to avoid inserting things into your ears Treat any ear infections as soon as possible. Manage allergies and upper respiratory infections soon. And use ear protection in noisy environment or during a pressure change.